right away. Bays were gathering so much information, but they gave up the site for free. Now the plan is to just pick them off at range on the retake. Two players at CT, two have come through the market, and of course, B main also locked down. They're all on the site. One by one, they will fall, but they're holding tight angles with the stingers here. You got to go in with a coordinated push. Yeah, they have no choice but to play it like this, and Marv with the Spectre is going to get the better of him here. Only player left alive now will be Mikhail. That's one, but no. Going to be a push around the catwalk and pretty much putting a uh, end to that round. It's in mid, too. That's a fast mid take. Cover going out. GMD is already up close. He's threatening right behind Zachary. Meanwhile, there's ready to burst out the jet out of A main. Excuse me, B main. And Marv is going to rotate at the perfect time. That's going to stop this push coming in, at least from the top angle. Now you just got to brute force your way in with classics. Not going to happen. FaZe played that really well. And keep your eyes on Marv. FaZe, they have the man advantage, but they'll be in a three versus four as the hit comes in. If Corey gets this kill, expect him to dismiss over uh, to the back entrance. Oh, actually, well, he'll just get two kills out of that one. But Sean actually changed it out. So the rain is popping off here, providing an opportunity. Marv is so low. He's the only one on A to deal with something, but he's still going to be good for a kill. Potentially, no. Instead, Sean finds his mark, and they got to get this spike down right now. Spike's going down. Now is your time to push in the 2v1. Sean is there, though, for his fourth, and he's looking for the ace. Quick dismiss. Gets tagged up by the camera, and he's just going to leave the dart in. Come at me, bro. Zachary hears the sounds all around him. Hear the reload. Knows that the rain is going to be positioned here. Denies the ace. Can potentially clutch this out. Zachary has improved exponentially since joining this team. But is it going to be enough here? He heard the drop. He saw him, but no! A Phantom versus... He's only going to be the star of this lineup for years to come. Invest in this man. Oh, look at this, Baby Bay. Baby Bay, two kills for him. Maybe a third, a third, Ooh. a fourth. He's going for the yeah, ace. Baby. Give him the ace, baby! Baby Bay picks up the ace with the blade storm. Let him know. Back down after the first blood. Alts are not going to help Gen G here. You need to get up close to use the Cypher ult. And with Stingers, they're going to make their push quickly into B. Marv going to have his hands full. No paranoia as well. And he's going to get hit one Ooh. going his direction. Rockus pulls out the Hunter's Fury and can definitely slow this down. But you can see the range. You're not going to do more damage from there. Yeah, that said, though, they are going to manage to weaken the Sova. So Mikhail's going to be in the back. And Michael has got to remember that. There you go. He made it easy on us. He did. He did. I blame Van Silly for me just doing the <laughs> Mikhail thing. <laughs> Does GMD try to use this Omen ult to maybe reposition at the swing? I don't know. Or he's just going to commit to the back boathouse. Watch yeah, out. The wind the backstab flank. is wind. in, though. Yeah, exactly. The wind backstab. Good call there, Puckett. Though they are going to be losing Four bodies here. Remaining. Michael's trying to hold this one off. There's no time. They have to push this. They have to make the play phase. And they know that they could use this to their advantage. Cor on Omen for Genji. Will he have an impact in this round? Paranoia still available? Well, you just saw two players with that dart. Phase is aware, and you got 30 seconds left on the clock in the 3v3. Fortunately for GMD, that streak is going to continue to go poorly for him. Baby Bay up top doesn't really have a clean angle. That cloud burst, although gave him the opportunity to get back Oof. into safe cover here. Now with only 12 seconds remaining in Baby Bay. Uh oh, Baby Bay's going on fire, Puckett. This could He's be aware. As GMD tries to get the pick on Marv, and both players are going to lose that fight. Win straight out with Corey, but already three dead Gen G members outside of A. Yeah, there's just really nothing that they could do here. Maybe a gun getting out of this one could be helpful. 4v2. Backstab. A marved on the flank. There it is. Yeah, the backstab. It happened before with win, but now it seems like they're going to be getting a taste of their own medicine if they're not careful. But once they do so, they're going to be running into the loving arms of Marv. He gets one, two. There it is. Three kills for Marv. I think they were prepared for this, given that their uh, ascent game has been a little spotty. And look at Corey there, right at the top of mid. Just, he's just been a bully this whole time. One enemy remaining. 
And how good is Marv? I feel like the whole reason you don't need to worry about mid is the way Marv just played on that omen. They haven't True. gotten by him after, I believe, round oh. three. They have shut it down. Start on A attack. And they're just trying to get the paranoia out. GMD is going to get flooded with players as Baby Bay is hunting through the smoke. Double oh, no. paranoia is going to land. There you go. It's Marv setting up plays like that, and already it's a four on three with two players off the site. Genji trades it back as it's now a three on three and definitely a retakeable situation. I know it's the JBL Quantum Cup with three games, you know, playing here, but I felt like I was watching a little bit of uh, Fortnite for a moment where you're just jumping in and trying to hit people with your attack shotgun or something. It was just, that was a bit of a, right -click bit of a crazy battle. Right click blast. There right. it is. Player spotted at wine. Another one in hell was just dink. So player one's going to go finish off his kill. Nice right click gets it done. Stuck on a wire and those are traded. Can he be the hero? Rockus is going to find the headshot instead. Would have been one thing to like reactive expecting a fast play because they're, they're going to be on an eco and phase like to play fast, but he'll hold on to that. Now they'll get onto the site. And this is just some great support that we're seeing from win in player one now. As for this mid player, I think uh, Zachary, he's looking to challenge up ahead. He might be running into this Sova in a moment's notice, but really a lot of pressure is going to be put on to Raucus to keep this one going. If he gets one kill, it's very doable, Zachary. But Michael had the read, was just waiting for it. He figured that with the Cypher alive, that would be a potential for the Lurk. And now it's just going to be left up to Raucus with this Guardian. Ah, oh, good luck. Yeah. Especially when you as Empress to deal with this. Plank what a big in. frag for Rockus. That's bad. Rockus didn't see Sean, but Sean is down to nine health. This kill is crucial for Rockus, and he does score. So no healing there for Sean. And now it's just about over three Gen G members remain, and they are running out of time. Yeah, Corey's got their number two right outside. Brock is three kills. What a way to shut this one down. It's just to GMD. It's been a rough game for him. It's been a rough game for Gen G, but G this agent and, and also what they did, uh, what 100 Thieves did with this one was really, really nice yesterday. So we'll see if they can continue to pile upon that though. First blood happening for Marv. Baby Bay joins in too. And there's Sean. That's why he's there. Just a clutch player for this team. Now, look at what's going on on the flank. As a matter of fact, you got to win. He's going wide. This is pure stall that's happening here. They are not expecting this, but oh my goodness, Whoa. Gen G. Did it, was that? That was that's not a double dink. One. Yeah, that that, a... that's that's some real nice player one right there. That was through the wall in the second shot. Makes this uh -oh. doable. Win with the jet mobility versus Rockets, oh, who baits her out. Well done. <laughs> Back to work. Quinn made his way. He went through TP and wrapped all the way around only to just get shot in the face by a classic, but some hurt. Yeah, you got to be careful there. Smart move to just team up with Marv. They seem to be a duo. A lot of paranoia set up as Baby Bay would finish it on the previous map. Now they're working together, but this is going to leave Zachary and Rockus on this site as all five are coming through. Zachary in a familiar spot yet again, but he is stunned out this time around. They know where he is, and they, or at least I would imagine that they've hurt him a little bit, but I don't think it even matters all that much with Marv here on the pincer. Sean, though, is going to dodge that paranoia. Scattered about here, Puckett. Baby Bay loves to opt this time around. It's the Phantom at range. Not the best weapon to shut down short, eh? But you can definitely chime in with some damage. Quinn is going to get darted up as he makes his way into you all and spike is going down they're playing a full-on retake and baby bay scores first taking down player one who had a res available so that's a really nice kill on the sage oh rolling thunder to respond to this here but raucous and corey managed to trade out some kills here sean trying to respond picks up one was anticipating one pushing him from lamps only player left standing now is going to be gmd or sorry sean Regardless, he's dead. So that means FaZe have managed to hold off on this very slow round from... They have to start making their way through here, uh, GMD. Baby Bay makes the call. I hear a lot. Gets flashed up before he can escape. Runs straight in the wall and Quinn shoots him in the back. Now the kill's traded out. As Marv only grabs one, it's going to be a four on three in favor for your planners. They have the positioning. 
while that does break off their information that they could gather watch out on this flank now Corey might be a problem does not have the Reina, so he can't freely dismiss when he gets a kill he also doesn't have any uh nades to force him back right give him an opening just the two blast packs and he's making his way all the way through showers just as zachary and rockets drop down and Corey should be able to get this kill. They know that he's uh, hanging out in the back here, but they have to start moving. Stinger of that range is garbage. Hits the headshot on the <laughs> omen. Just going to grab a gun as he goes through the portal. Should be killed. And there oh. they're waiting for him. He's the site. Oh, that's nice. And he is set up for success. There's Ooh. the first shot from Sean, though, and it's going to land to the dome. Spike planted. Excellent opening from the raise as Rockus takes down player one. This is a 2v3, but winnable for Gen G. Indeed it is. Michael manages to get one. Looking for a second kill. Now it's going to be up to GMD. What can he do here? Isolates one. Knows exactly where the second one is going to be. But Raucous again. He did it at the end of Ascent. He clutches out here for FaZe. And gives him a fifth round. Nice paranoid to slow things down. The counter bomb, but he almost does damage. Meanwhile, you're going to see... Sean's connect down to three health is marved. He is one bullet. Anything will kill him. Baby Bay uses his knives this round on Sean. And Gen G's push on A is definitely slowed. They are trapped in U-Haul. Quinn getting pushed by three. And they'll get that Phantom too. They still have all five players left alive. Even with marved at three HP, Baby Bay in this position too. There's just, there's nothing that they could do. They're stuck. Have to open this door. I'm not coming nope. out. All right. I am baby bay. I, I got combo. Oh, look I at think, A. Look I at A. He's coming. Look at A. GMD. What a big kill. Might get a second. Ooh. Yes. Oh, so while that was going on, and they know that they have that player stuck inside of there, they can actually go into A and put this fight down right now. That was player one finding baby bay, who is on the other side of that portal. Bullets travel. Spike planted. And then just dips out. I love this play at the start. It cost you 100 credits. And a rocket now from Sean on site. You got him pinched in showers. Player one has a wall to make sure they don't come behind at short A. This is an easy plant for Gen G. And now they're starting to add first bloods to it. Yeah, they're so far ahead. Spread out perfectly. Got the cross here too. He was hoping to be able to nail that. Oh dear. Disaster strike. Zachary with a big boy swing. But Sean trying to keep this one going for him. Here comes Corey, though. He's got himself that rocket. He knows where he is. But no, Michael with a big stop there. Keeps Genji very competitive now. It's going to be up to Zachary. He passed through the slow orb. As soon as he gets this kill, expect the Sage to swing. But he doesn't go for it. He doesn't go for it. Oh, my goodness. That was actually a few plant on B. All three players approaching from the defender side. And Michael saved one blind for this. So they're they're gonna work behind that. Dark cover goes first, then the blind, then they'll burst out behind it. Oh, they already used it. Now they'll need this fault line here. Hopefully they made the right gamble, but they ended up not hitting the shot. Marv with one click. Quinn has three kills this round. Now it's just gonna be left up to Rockus. He's got himself the frenzy, but Quinn with four. With, without the op being at heaven, that will give them a lot of comfort to be able to push this freely. Playing around this Hunter's Fury, although it doesn't get any kills, though, I was hoping to see FaZe get on that site. There you have it. Baby Bay from the side. Now Huynh's going to be back into a uh, strong position here. Baby Bay is just watching his teammates back. He's got them all covered. Uh-oh, Huynh. Huynh was waiting for the peak. He knew where he was. Nice shot from Zach. Lines up the single bullet from the Vandal. Now, remember, FaZe can still take port here. Spike is in the hands of Rockus, yeah. and they will commit. So, good yeah. luck, Michael. 1v3. Do you just collect the op and try and survive? That might be the game plan. And they know that that operator is going to be up there. Oh, oh, <laughs> never mind. Hold Rockus this. held on to that angle. And to hold strong. There we go. Oh, I can't believe that dart didn't hit. Marvo waited and 
Managed to push him at the right time here. GMD gets caught with his paranoia now. Hunter's Fury pushed him back. Doesn't find any connections with it, though. 20 seconds left. Baze has got to make a move. Genji knows it. Oh, that paranoia doesn't hit. Oh, that paranoia doesn't hit and gives Michael an opening. Oh, no. Win going for the injection, not gonna land. Marv finds his fourth. He's on an ace right here. Marv is looking to wrap this one up, maybe. Get this to match point. He's on the outside, and there's Darn. the ace for Marv. There you go. Not afraid anymore. Win double smokes, pulls out his daggers, and is looking to find Marv, the rock star from the previous round, and Marv continues that six in a row now with headshots. Opportunity for them to take B site, but they do have a cross here as well as a showstopper, and that's going to be used. But no, Marv, Marv hits him with it. The elbow drop seven removes Sean, and now you just have two Eight. players scratch Eight that one player remaining. Can GMD be the hero for Gen G? No, instead, baby 